G'day, Troy here from FM Life. In today's video, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks about how I develop my youth players. So there are different aspects that can actually change how your player develops and how quick they develop as well. But this is just my take on developing youth. If you develop youth a little bit differently or if you've got any hot tips, please leave it in the comments below. It helps out everyone that's actually watching the video. Uh, helps out me as well. All right, guys, let's get into the video. The first thing I want to have a look at is their personality. Um, so what I normally do when I'm first starting up a save, I'll have a look at the best players in the under 18s, check out from their potential ability, and I'll have a look at their personality. So once I've had a look at my hot prospect, I'll narrow them down to about four or five, and I'll have a look at how I can get these players to their potential ability as fast as possible. So the first thing I look at, as I said, is their personality. This guy here, Lee O'Connor, 15 year old, he looks pretty decent. It's got that five star potential ability and his personality is balanced. A player's personality will actually affect if he will ever reach his potential ability. So the sooner you get this up, the better. So at 15 years of age for Leo, Leo Connor, I want to get this up as fast as possible. The best way to do that, or one of the only ways I know how to do that, is to get the best tutor possible um, to get this guy tutored. So then I'll have a look at my senior squad and sort their personality. So what I want is professional personality for most of my squad, if I can. Um, so when I've sorted that, and I know the position he's playing, he's a center defender, can also play on the right back, but I see him more as a central midfielder. So the guy that kind of screams out, and Daily Blin, I've used him before, he's always very good. He's highly determined. He's got some very good mental attributes in areas which I love, the work rate, determination, um, composure as well. Profe professional personality and he's got some decent player traits as well. So one thing I'll add when you are tutoring a player, so you have a look at Daily Blin and you want to have a look at his player traits. The main reason for this is if you train that player, or if you, sorry, if you uh, tutor that younger player and uh, you want him to play, uh, tutor him on the pitch, he'll actually pick up some of the player traits as well. So if there's player traits that, that you don't exactly like for the player's position, you can actually just tutor him off the pitch and that will just only give him the mental attributes and also the personality. If I'm managing a side that actually doesn't have any professional older players in my side or players that I can see to be uh, suitable tutors, what I'll do, I'll have a look at the transfer market. Um, a lot of times you can get a, a, few, a few older guys for no compensation or they're on the free or it's a very little transfer fee, especially at the, if you're at the bigger club, you want to have a look at these guys. So first one I'll have a look at, well, I only look at one, just Ricardo Cavallio. Um, he is, uh, he's pretty old, 38, very old. Uh, professional personality, he's got a couple of the player traits which I don't like, especially for a center back, gets forward whenever possible. I don't really like that. Um, so I'll just probably use him as a, as a tutor to train off the field. Um, but mental attributes all across the board, uh, for ones that I like are very good. Work rate needs a, a bit of improvement, but that's not gonna go up. Before his actual role, a centre defender, once again, the positioning, the termination, all these mental attributes are very high. So he's going to make a very good tutor. And actually, if they do have a professional personality or a very good personality, um, they'll actually make good coaches. So at 38 years of age, you'll get him in for one year, you'll play a rotation kind of role. And then after that, he might make a very good coach. The next thing I want to talk about is sending players out on loan because game time makes a massive difference in their development as well. So if they're out of age of about 18 and over and you're happy with the mental attributes, you're happy with the personality, but you're not exactly going to use them in your first team or they're not ready, um, send them out and they might come back better for it. So we'll have a look at Fusu Mensa for this example. I'm pretty happy with his, um, most of his attributes. I'm pretty happy with his determination. Fairly determined personality could move up a little bit, but I don't think I've got too many players that can tutor someone, someone of this standard. Um, so what you want to have a look at first is in the reports. You want to see where he's actually suited to play. So he's suited to play in a Sky Bet Championship football. So what you want to do is try to get some loan bids in for that Skybet Championship football, and you want him to be a key player or a first team player in a squad. So if a team has put in a bid and they're actually going to play that player as a key player or a first team player, still you want to have a look at their training facilities and also the team itself. Uh, so I'll pick Huddersfield Town for an example. Uh, so the training facilities are impressive. So if the team are put in a bid and they've actually got poor training facilities, that's actually going to hamper uh, your player's development. So you, you might not want to send that player there. Well, I definitely don't. 
So the next thing you want to have a look at is the team itself and have a look at where they're going to play him, where they, where you want him to be played. Um, so for Fusu Mensa, I want him to play in the center mid, midfielder role somewhere and have a look at the players that are in the side. Have a look if uh, any of the players are better than him or that you think will make the side ahead of him. If there are too many players that are, um, that, that are going to be playing ahead of uh, Fusu Mensa, I won't want to loan into him because I know he's just going to go there. He's going to sit on the bench. And after all, first team football is what we're looking for to develop him even further. Also, you can have a look at the manager itself. Uh, see if he's working with youngsters is okay. He's at 16, so he's not too bad. Um, so if he's working with youngsters is very low, maybe you want to pick the side that has that better working with youngsters. Once again, it's all about balancing everything. So for this guy, he signs youth players as well for the first team. So he really does concentrate on youth, and that's what you want to see. You want to see your youth players playing and a coach that's not just going to forget about them. So now I want to have a look at staff and coaching staff for their under 18s. A lot of people just dismiss it, just have a look at their main coaching side and don't actually touch the under 18s. Um, so let's just have a look at the under 18s coaching staff. And as you can see over, over here, sorry, is working with youngsters and you want obviously all those attributes to be pretty high. So what I will do for an example, for, so for this guy, Colin Little, he his uh, attribute for working with youngsters is 14, which is okay, but uh, I think we can get a little bit better or a fair bit better. And then I'll have a look at his main attributes in, uh, for this guy, he's he's terrible. I would, um, I would just get rid of him. Next thing you want to have a look at is each and every category, if we've got uh, a couple of good attributes there. So you know that coaching category is going to be stacked and it's going to be a four to five star. So we'll have a look at fitness and that looks terrible. There's no one there at fitness, so I do need to get a fitness coach. Defending as well, we need to get a defensive coach in there. What I'm looking for basically is this yellow little attribute. So that'll tell me if if um, I've got a good attribute in that area. Um, if a goalkeeping coach, so I need to get that sorted. I need to get some coaches in straight away. Once again, uh, I did put a video out um, last week about uh, training and training in general, uh, little tips and tricks, and that'll explain probably this a little bit better. Okay, after we've done all that, what I want to do is have a look at the players in general and have a look at a coaching plan and set up a coaching plan. So once again, I'll use Lee O'Connor as the example. So what I've done, I've actually put a note on what I think about this player going forward and what I actually want to train going forward as well. As I said before, he's a central defender. He's most natural as a defensive right back, but he just doesn't have a couple of the attributes there that are needed. What I do see in him, however, is a ball playing midfielder. So you can see first touch is at 12, his passing is at 12, technique at 11, he's got good work rate, um, and a couple of other attributes there go hand in hand, good aggression, uh, bravery. So I think he can improve going forward, especially if we'll get everything sorted throughout his attributes. So I've made an individual training plan for Leo Connor. I just want to retrain him to a ball winning midfielder or center midfielder. Uh, balance personality tutored by blend. So after Blin has actually done his tutoring in about six months, that takes about six months to do, I'll move on to the next tutor. I'll keep on tutoring until he's about 17 and then I'll leave him. I'll keep on putting into notes, filling in, um, getting that uh, personality until it gets up to professional. So this actually just gives me a little reminder uh, on what his personality was before and who I've actually tutored him in the past. The next thing, as you can see, is attributes that need work. So I've put down his strength and his pace. So if you have a look, his strength is at eight and his pace is okay. But if I'm gonna play him as a ball winning midfielder, I want him to have blistering pace. Okay, last but not least, we'll move over to their training. So I actually handle the under 18s uh, general training. I don't handle their match preparation. I leave that up to uh, the head of youth or the, the manager at the time. Um, so what you wanna do is concentrate first on fitness. So I would leave fitness on for pretty much half the year, if not the whole year. Those physical attributes as you're growing up and growing older is uh, is the first ones you actually want to work on. The technical and the mental will come over time, but those physical attributes are the hardest to actually achieve when the player is getting a little bit older. So that's why I'll leave fitness on basically all year round. Um, as you can actually see throughout this, I've got a little setup here where I can see that all the physical attributes and what one actually needs to be worked on. So if, when you move over to the next guy, you can see his worst physical attribute is probably uh, strength. But for Trung, what I probably want to see is his stamina actually improve. He's a winger. I want him to get up and down all day. I actually want him to close down a little bit as well on the wings. So I would actually work on his stamina. After that, you go through, basically go through the whole squad. 
Look, I don't do training plans for the whole squad. Um, what I'll do is work on for probably Man United for these. I'll work on these three guys. I'll get these three guys tutored and I'll work on everything and all those additional focuses. But the, the guys down here that are not really going to make it, I'm not going to waste my time. This guy here, sorry if you're watching, Thomas Sang. Um, you're not going to make it. Not for Man United anyway, not in my side. Um, hopefully you do one day. And this clip is shown all over the world, Thomas Sang. That guy from Australia that said he'll never make it. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. And if you liked the video, please give us a like on the video. It really helps us out. And also, if you've got any other ways or any tips and tricks about developing youth, uh, please leave a comment in the box. If I've missed out anything, I probably have. Uh, please leave a comment in the comments below. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.